Have you ever had a seal fail like this? This is what happens when a material experiences compression set. It loses its ability to maintain a reliable seal over time. But what exactly is compression set, and why does it matter? Compression set, sometimes referred to as C-set, measures how well a material bounces back after being compressed. We can think of it as the memory of an elastomeric foam, or how well it returns back to its original shape after a load is applied and removed. Can you show me how it works? Absolutely. I have a compression set demo here from TBP and Rogers. I'm gonna compress these foams, and then let's wait an hour. All right, it's been an hour. Let's check it out. Even visually, we can see the compression set taken in the EPDM and rubber blend foams. Whereas the Bisco silicone and poron polyurethane from Rogers bounces back to almost their original height. The difference between the original and final heights gives us the compression set value. So that's why the mason jar is leaking? Because the material took a set and no longer tightly seals? That's exactly right. A lower compression set value is critical for applications like this mason jar lid. It ensures the foam maintains its shape and sealing effectiveness over time, preventing leaks like the one we saw earlier. So is there a value for what's a good compression set? For critical applications, a compression set below 5% is excellent. Sometimes a higher compression set of 10 to 25% is sufficient. It depends on your application and a bunch of other factors. Understanding compression set helps you choose a material that delivers reliable, long-term performance, especially in demanding environments. Don't let a poor seal compromise your application. As always, the Rogers and TVP teams are here to help. In our next video, we'll talk about a common misconception, density and firmness of foams. Stay tuned.